Hello guys, uh, sorry I've been a bit uh, AWOL these last few days, but I've been busy, busy, busy. Anyway, on tonight's show, we're going to be uh, getting some, we're going to be definitely getting some brassicas into the ground, our second batch of brassicas into the ground, because they're well overdue. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Weed out of bed, sort it all out, get the brassicas in. Hello everyone and good evening and welcome to the Little Farmer's Farm with me, Guru Mafinda. Now on tonight's show we're going to be starting off some climbing French beans and we're also going to be uh, planting out some brassicas that we've got left, left over. Uh, Kiloton F F1 cabbage and Clapton F1 uh, which are cauliflowers. They're only small but we're going to get them in anyway because the perishing inside the, uh, the polytunnel there. I've got a couple more brassicas I'm going to be looking at to get into the ground as well but they're going to be going into this bed which is a really long sort of brassica bed that we ha that we had the onions in. We took all of those onions out of the other day that have been overwintered in there. So the first job I've got to do is get the weeding done and then prepare the soil for my brassicas. Sorry, I've got the sun behind me there. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're planning on doing tonight. So I'll catch you in a little bit. I think first of all we'll get that weeding done, get the brassicas out, potentially. And uh, obviously we're going to be starting off the French beans because I'm, I'm late with those French beans. So wish me luck with that. All right, we've got a couple of hours. Let's see how we let's see let's see how we get on. Okay, so I'm going to be hand weeding that bed. It's not that terrible. I'm just going to get a bucket, get all the weeds out that I can get out. We're going to be topping that up as well with maybe a couple of bags of the clover compost, some um, six x concentrated farmyard manure for the nitrogen the brassicas love the nitrogen i really do need to get these out i mean those are the bolted pack choy as you can see there and they're getting beyond a joke we need to take them and we need to get that uh, hulk soup made with it before we lose it getting sidetracked here but uh, yeah the broccoli heads are coming on really nicely took one the other night We've still got half of it left that we had with Sunday lunch, but uh, yeah, I'm going to get that and, and, uh, and freeze that up. But I'm digressing. Let's get that bed sorted out. All right, guys. Now, what we're left with there is a fairly barren landscape, as you can see. All weeds removed by uh, using these tools. Four fingers and a thumb. Uh, those are the brassicas that we're going to be planting in. As I say, we've got some... Uh, Kiloton F1 and some Clapton. Now the Clapton are the cauliflowers, they're only small ones there, but they're very much suffering inside the uh, polytunnel. There's 12 and there's 12 of the cabbage as well. So what we're going to be doing is planting those in. I think we could probably get 24 brassicas in there. It's a quite a it's quite a long bed that. It's around 14 and a half feet. In fact it's probably more than that. Let's measure it. Okay, now this bed is almost 15 feet long by just over 4 feet wide. So, uh, yeah, we'll call it 15 feet by 4 feet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plant the, uh, the brassicas 20 inches in, roughly, from the sides. So if we do that... Turn that off. Ooh, come on, you monkey. Bear with me a second. I've just snapped my little trowel. Uh, and I can't find my fork. Never mind. I'm going to put some uh, gloves on and continue to, to use that trowel until I destroy it properly. Uh, we're, put, we're placing them at about 16 inches apart as we go down. So we're about 16 inches from each side, 16 inches apart as we go down. That's reasonable spacing. They say about 18 inches apart for your big brassicas and what have you. But I'm going to be doing the um, 16 inches apart, I think. See how many we can get in. It's not rocket science, guys. Okay, so because we're trying to be a bit more frugal with our expenditure, uh, there's the young plant, the young cabbage plant which is, uh, I mean, this was started 
in March this year. This was started on the 9th of March, 21. So it's it's well overdue going in. And that's a Kiloton F1 cabbage from King's. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be planted into there. So we're going to be trying to be a bit more frugal. So I'm going to add some lime in to the mix. This is garden lime. I'm just going to sprinkle it in to our disturbed earth. Disturbed about uh, eight inches around the planting spot. I'm mixing that in. I'll give it a couple of good spoons. The, the reason that we're using the lime is because the lime will retard club root. And we have issues on this site with club root. The lime will assist in that. You've seen this before, I'm guessing, you guys, if you've been watching us for a bit. But uh, it's a vlog. Look at that cheeky monkey there. That's Mr. Prog the Pog Romance. So in that goes, in the lime goes, we're also be going to be uh, adding in a, a reasonable sprinkle. Of our 6x concentrated farmyard manure. And into that little planting location, to make it, making sure we're deep enough, I'm going to be placing this little fellow. There's his root system. Try and break that up a touch and, uh, and put him in there. Now, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to firm that in now, uh, firm him around. It doesn't matter that you're covering up part of the stem, as long as you don't cover up too much. Any monkey leaf that you find, you want to trim off before you plant it and they need they need to be reasonably firmly planted in these they need a nice seat that'll be watered in shortly but essentially that's all we're going to be doing I and mean, we're going to be working our way along the row i'm hoping to get one two three hoping to get 12 of those in into this uh, into this bed on this side when they grow to full fruition they're going to be coming out about 18 inches this way and 18 inches that way so um they're, they're going to be uh, a quite full bed even though you might not think it looking at it now it's going to be oh that's only a small plant you're going to be, i'm only going to be putting one set of 12 down there and one set of 12 down there so that they're decently spaced you know what i mean give them uh, give them a good bit of elbow room all right, guys, I'm going to carry on doing that all the way down here now, and uh, I'll come back to you at the end. So there they are. They're all planted in now. Now, they're not in perfect light alignment, but there again, we're not living in Nazi Germany, are we? So it uh, doesn't really matter. As long as they're relatively evenly spaced, they've got enough room to spread their wings, they're going to be quite happy in there. I'm just going to water them in now, and then uh, drop the covers down, drop the netting down. Um unfortunately i've not had time to do <coughs> excuse me the other side so i'm going to be putting those uh cauliflowers back inside the tunnel overnight and we'll try and sort them out either tomorrow or on thursday but um i need to cover them up otherwise where are they my little friends can't spot any at the moment they're never there when you want them the wood pigeons uh will devour them over the, overnight and we'll have no cabbages left but i'm going to water those in now give them a good drink as monty don always says Now I really like this brassica bed, especially the net system that we've got on it. The way that this works is that they're on sliders which are basically zip ties and what you do with them is you pull them down on the sliders all the way along. in stages so the first one comes down like this the 
sliding down the uh, the water pipe that we've got. It's a 25 millimeter water pipe, which you can get from uh, Screw Fix if you're in the UK, or I guess in any hardware um, store, you should be able to pick up this water pipe, PVC water pipe. There it is. So we gradually go, we gradually go along with that. And then the, uh, there's two on it, so the top one comes down as well then. And we just gradually work our way across. And as we do that, the tent or the netting becomes taut. And it'll all even out when I, uh, when I finish it off, you'll see. And the ones that we did previously we continue to slide them down like this see what see what's getting taut there and, and retaining its shape or bringing its shape back that's what we uh, that's what we're after and just carry on nipping them down their own um, their own tension will keep them in place you'll find when you're doing this. I've just been talking, I've been talking to an old friend called Alan Brocklehurst tonight and it was good to hear from Alan but he set me back about an hour or so. <laughs> so that's why I've not been able to complete the planting up. There's always tomorrow guys. Okay, always tomorrow. Now I'll continue on with that and when we get to the bottom um we just take the skirt and on the bed itself on the timbers of the bed i've got these little uh, nails that i put in and these little nails you hook on your uh, just let it grab onto the little nail and that will keep it down keep the netting down you'll see when i've completed that as i go along that i'll just hook them on and all that side will then be taut and uh, fit for purpose to keep the cabbage white butterflies off them and also the pigeons okay so the skirts are fitted <clears throat> um, takes a minute or two to do it but it will keep the butterflies and the pigeons from your crops you just have to reverse the process slide them back up once you've unhooked them slide them back up and uh, you can get in then and you can you can do your weeding, you can tend to your crops <coughs> as you see fit. Uh, you, or you can just leave the netting on uh, for about a week or so until you need to go in there and do any, any work or weeding. But um, you can water through that obviously with your hose pipe or your watering can and continue to uh, to water up if you need to. I like it, I like it. I think it's a good... A good setup is my is my favourite setup there, and because we've got the little peg nails all the way around it, we can just continue around then and tighten it up and make it look nice and pretty. And you can see that the pigeons have uh, been performing a dirty protest on it to show their contempt for my little device that's keeping them out of there. But without that, honestly to God, the pigeons, the wood pigeons, would be all over it. I can hear them flapping around, but I can't see them at the moment. There were a few on before. There's one up there, a couple up, up there, Luke. Waiting, waiting for me to disappear. And then they'll be testing the defences. So I'm going to carry on with that um, and drop all the skirt sidings down onto it. And uh, Bob's your uncle. Okay. Now, if you want to see a video on how we actually created that, uh, it was either last year or the year before, actually, actually that we did that. Um, then I'll put a link in to the description below on this video and you can uh, you can click on that and watch that uh, the actual creation of that bed in, in its entirety but uh, we like it it works it keeps the birds and the butterflies out and that's all you need really I'm gonna have to get some little zip ties and dig those out and do some repair work on the nets like a fisherman um, just to fix up any holes that are appearing and uh, yeah as long as it's uh, as long as the weave is tight enough to keep those butterflies out like we had in here 
like I say, we've got mass abundance and these are bolting, but those uh, those broccoli heads in there are no joke. It was exactly the same planting process that we used there with the lime and the, and the 6x that we did in here. And you can see the results there speak for themselves. That's the head that we took the other night. That one. Because that was the biggest one. But now these ones are bigger than the one that we took the other night. Yeah, these are starting to bolt. But once all that's uh, come to fruition and we've and we've emptied that, well, we'll uh, we'll empty all the veg out of there, blanch it for a minute or two, and then freeze it. It'll all be chopped up and frozen so that we can continue to eat that for the next three or four months, which is what it's all about. We eat what we can fresh, <clears throat> but if you uh, harvest process and freeze it quickly there's loads of different ways of preserving it you can dehydrate it you can chip it what have you we tend to freeze it we fill up we fill up the chest freezer with that sort of stuff and my mum's chest freezer and probably my sister's because we we have gluts we have situations sometimes where you've got too much that needs to come out at the same time but what we're trying to do is that successional growing so these will be probably ready, hopefully, in a couple of months. Those are ready now. And we can eat those over the next couple of months and then those will be ready. And we'll have we'll have seeds that will you can get all the year round cauliflower and things like that and, and certain kales that you plant late on in the season. And uh, so we can have leafy greens, hopefully, year round. Certainly lettuces and, and things like that. We're gonna try it with the pak choy as well. Because we've had great success with the pak choy these last four years, really. So, yeah, hope you like that. Um, if I don't see you through the week, I'll see you through the window. As I say, I'll put a link to um, the construction of that. And um, you can check that out. I thought there was somebody behind me then. I had a freaky, freaking suspicion that there was somebody behind me. But there isn't. Probably old age creeping up on me. My birthday in a couple of weeks. 10th of July, my birthday. And uh, next year I'll be 50. I'm not 50 this year, I'm 49 this year. But next year, on the 10th of July, is my 50th birthday. And we're hoping that all this coronavirus nonsense will be, uh, will be done and dusted so that I can actually get a decent holiday. We've not been away for the last year and a half two years well two years really because of the situation uh, so yeah peace love and uh, namaste to all our fellow growers and uh, yeah keep growing at yes down catch you later on boys and girls take care god bless love you all bye bye